time once again as we make a return trip to Bolbrook Castle. Bolbrook Castle was built around 1480 and is the earliest brick building in the county of Sussex. Having been owned by the Earls and Dukes of Dorset, the castle has a wealth of history within its corridors. Bolbrook contains many fine rooms with original beam ceilings and wood panelling, as well as 16th century furniture and tapestries. There is also an Elizabethan staircase that is one of the finest in the country as well as the second largest fireplace in England. Henry VIII used the castle as a lodge when he hunted for wild boar in the nearby Ashdown Forest and Anne Boleyn, who lived at Hever Castle five miles away, was courted by him from here. The association with Henry and Anne is prominent here, with rooms being named the King's Bedchamber for example. Of course, stories of the paranormal are commonplace here, with visitors having apparently heard male voices call out to them as they walk up the staircase, and a figure of a woman has been seen wandering around the corridors. Perhaps not surprisingly, the apparition of Anne Boleyn has apparently been seen many times, walking through the Great Hall. But like many of these stories associated with famous historical figures, it is more likely a romanticised view of what people would like to see. Our previous visit, six months earlier, had medium Alan Barnett seemingly connect with former residents of the castle, including Lady Isabella Sackville, children on the upper floors, and Captain Percival Ramsey Mann, who was responsible for renovating the castle in the 1920s, following a long period of disrepair. Once again, we join Chris Eisted to Shoreham Ghost Hunters, as Al, Annalisa, Kat and myself, along with medium Alan Barnett, take a walk around to reacquaint ourselves with the property. Okay, we returned to Bolbrook Castle. We were here six months ago uh, on a very cold January Saturday night. July now, so it's much warmer, really pleasant. Um, it's nice actually to come here and actually see it from the outside in the daytime. So we've already made sort of the groundwork last time we were here, so we'll see if we can sort of rally up and see if we can get in touch with anyone that Alan picked up uh, before. So it uh, should be very interesting. We've got Annalisa here and Al again. Um, so yeah, welcome to Bolbrook Castle. Uh, it's really beautiful from the outside. Um, it's obviously got a lot of history. There's obviously some a lot of the original features here, um, but I'm really excited about tonight. I can't wait. <laughs> it's going to be really cool. It's absolutely stunning from outside. It's beautiful. The entrance, the original entrance, would have been over this side here. Okay, it doesn't seem to make sense, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. The Tudor roses, if you look in the middle, you see where it's all like dotted. Mm -hmm. It's a pomegranate. When he married Catherine of Aragon, um, her symbol was a pomegranate, and the pomegranate, because of all the seeds inside it, is to do with fertility. Mm. So, but it's really interesting that they're like that. Fantastic building, isn't it? Mm. I have to get residual energy here, and for the period of time with children running about out here. Throughout the centuries, I feel there's a really, really happy energy here really lovely it's got really lovely feel like everyone who lived there really loved it here and children and families grew up and this was one of their favorite places although although it wasn't their main residence they loved it here as night draws in we begin a vigil in the upper rooms just come in and communicate with us tonight Come in and talk to us, please. Because that's what I get now, again, I'm getting children. Oh, that's good. That's um, good. Come in and talk to us, please. 
Have you got any children here present? Could you make a sound please? By like tapping or touching one of us. We'd be mean you no harm. We'd just like to play with you. Room 204. Six months later we were back in room 204. <laughs> I joined Al in a small chapel which is built into the room. Can you please affect the light for me again? Thank you. Well, if you're still with us, thank you very much. Please switch it back on again. If you're with us, please, could you actually switch the, the light off? Can you make it go out, please? Can you actually make the light go out, please? Although the flashlight flickered on command, it could very well be 40 batteries, although it worked fine for the rest of the night. Later on, we moved into Anne Boleyn's bedroom. Did you do that again? Could you, yes, I did. Could you do that again, please? Do what I do again, please. I heard it twice. I heard it twice. I don't know if it was me as I walked over. It happened just as I walked. Yeah, it was, it's, I heard it the first time I heard it, you were standing over I'll there, stand, you were yeah. not walking. If there's anyone in this room with us now, can you knock on the head of the bed like this, please? Please step forward and communicate with us by tapping on the table. <coughs> we're moving the table. Hmm? If you've just come in from outside. I don't know where it's come from, but it's something coming close because I can feel it. She would have come round that corner. But she comes from the... So that's the first floor, isn't it? She comes from... If you're looking up the stairs, she comes from the right. She comes around the top and comes down. Hello, who is it? Boxford. We're right at the top. With Alan previously sensing a woman on the stairway, we decide to hold a vigil here. Lady Isabella, would you please come through to us, please, and show yourself? If it, if, if it. You can very much see why people thought Anne Boleyn was holding it. Because mm. of the clothes and. What's that? Not a very strong impression of her that she never lived old anyway. Oh, really? Mm. I don't know, I can't pinpoint that she's around us, though. Is she wondering what we're doing, or you just got an impression, that's all? Any sort of mood, or...? It's, it's like she's just watching. Um. Lady Isabella, please come forward and talk to us. Please show us that you're here by moving the table. Although so much history here, it had been a very quiet but interesting night. Once again, it had been a privilege to explore Barbara Castle, and with its rich layers of past characters and events, it's another gem in the landscape of English history. <laughs>